Yo, what's up guys? Sean here, aka I'm a flying midget, and today we're actually going to be playing some heist today. I got something super epic to show you guys on how to make some serious money in this game. I'm showing you guys a new diamond vault, so get hyped! Alright guys, so I think it is actually important to know before we kind of play this, I'm not sure if there was kind of like a little bit of a, um, I'm gonna go actually ahead and do, uh, what should we go? Should we go waterworks, dockyard, underground, tower block, office block, I'm gonna go lumberyard, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna do a little lumber tycoon too right now, I've actually never, li never kind of stayed here, but, um, it's important to know, I don't know if there was kind of a reset in stats, or if I was like robbed somehow, I'm not entirely sure, but I had like 90 grand, I feel like, in the bank, and now I'm down to like, Two grand or something kind of crazy. I feel like I lost. So I'm down to 625. I'm down to. I don't know what happened. Um. So I'm not sure if you guys kind of had that same thing. I'm really confused why I lost all my money. But you know that's okay. Cause today I'm showing you guys how to make a lot of money in this game, right? I'm showing you guys how to make some serious freaking money. Um. All right, we got everything equipped right now. I think we're. I think we're looking good. I think we're looking good. All right, so. I'm going to show you guys how to make some serious freaking money. Uh, if you guys saw, I made a video uh, about a week ago. About a week ago. I, uh, I made a video about a week ago on uh, on how to on, on where the gold vault was. So there's a gold vault in this game that actually makes you some decent money. Um, and I've got a little kind of challenge for uh, for someone to get kind of pinned in the comment section. So watch the whole video, guys, so you can uh, you can kind of see who's going to get pinned and whatnot. But, um, but basically, um, I kind of... Wow, rip, rip that. Um, I basically, oh, that dude just get freaking destroyed. Alright, I'm outie. I'm outie, man. I'm outie, man. Um, uh, but yeah, so basically, uh, I, I, I showed a video on, I made a video on how to, um, kind of get this gold vault, guys, which is like, it was super secret. No one really knew about it at all before I made the video. Uh, so I made the video on it. Um, there's, uh, you, you can go, you can find the secret gold vault. There's a secret way of doing it. You gotta get a key card. You gotta go to the gold vault. Um, uh, steal all the gold and everything. And, and it was, it's pretty lit. It's pretty hype. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description. You guys can check out that video if you haven't seen it already. I'll also leave it at the end of this video so you can watch it at the very end. Uh, so you guys can watch this one as well because today I'm showing you guys a way to, to get into the diamond vault Which actually makes you more money. I believe makes you more money uh, But you guys will have to kind of help me out with that one. Um, but anyway, so so yeah, so it's a it's a cool way. I'm gonna actually go ahead and I'm gonna steal some of this cash money moolah though. I'm gonna go ahead and steal some of that though. I'm gonna go ahead and steal some of that. I'm gonna go ahead and steal some of that, and I'm out. I'm out. You didn't even know I was here. Um, but yeah, so today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get into the diamond vault. Which, by the way, since I made the video on the gold vault, guys, it kind of got um, it kind of got a little bit popular. And is this where I'm looking for? Yeah, material shop. Uh, I got a little bit popular. I'm not gonna lie. And uh, actually, you know, I don't want to die right now or get shot at, so I'm gonna keep driving. But um, it got a you know it it. it it basically, the gold vault is pretty saturated. Now, every time I join it on a server, I almost always see someone trying to hit hit the gold vault. So it's kind of kind of hit or miss. You know, you got to kind of join in on a server and maybe have like a group of friends go for it. Because sometimes there's going to be some people competing trying to get that. And then you're going to get wrecked. And yeah, so it's kind of bad. So I don't know. Gold vault is still good. Good option to kind of make some money. But now I'm going to show you guys a better option. Because uh, I have literally have never seen anyone do the diamond vault before. Uh, so that's hype. But first of all, you got to go to the material shop, guys, which is where I'm at right now. And you're going to need to buy two. I actually might have already had one. But you need to buy two ladders. Um, all right, there we go. So you need to buy two ladders, all right, to start. So that's the first step. Go to the material shop. Get yourself two ladders, all right? Material shop is uh, kind of by this pink house right over here, which is, like, kind of perfect because... We're literally, we're going this way, alright? So the pink house is always how I get my bearings with going for the diamond vault because it's literally perfect. But basically, so yeah, so you're going to want to go to the material shop, find the pink house. The pink house is, I feel like, one of the easiest ways to find it. Uh, go to the pink house right there, and then once you get your, your two ladders, you're going to actually go to the pink house and then go past it. So this is always, like, it's the best. Pink house is so easy to find. Um... You're going to go up there to the shopping center or the shopping mall or whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's just on the other side of the pink house. Now, okay, guys, this is something I have not seen too many people. Like, literally, I literally haven't seen anyone. I haven't seen anyone hit the um, hit, hit this diamond vault yet. Uh, so, it is still pretty new. Although, I will say, once I make this video, um, you know, a lot of people are going to start knowing about it. I don't know. So, make sure you guys kind of... Uh, Get it while you can. You can make a lot of money off this, right? Like, some you can make some serious money hitting this diamond vault, alright? So, step one there, you're gonna wanna come over here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and snag this wood just cause I can. Just cause I freaking can, bro. Whenever you see stuff, you might as well. Might as well. Alright, so get back, get back in the car. Alright, so we're coming on this side of the shopping center, right? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and... Whoa! Who's shooting, man? Who's shooting, man? I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna park the car right here. Hopefully, hopefully not a lot of people see me do this right now. Um, and then, uh, then you wanna place your first ladder right here. So that's the thing I love about this game, guys. Is it so... Oh, man, someone's gonna be jacking my cash. Good thing I've only got, like, 500 in the bank right now. I got, like, literally nothing. Um, but, um... But yeah, so the thing I love about this game is since you can build, there's so many possibilities. And if you guys didn't see, if you didn't know about my my kind of videos or you didn't see anything like any information otherwise or other players tell you, it's really hard just to stumble upon some stuff in the game. Like, if you had to just stumble upon finding this vault, 
it's nearly impossible. I mean, you got to have, like, an insider tip because it's literally, it's so hard to find. Like, who would have thought to put two ladders over here to get on top of this roof to go inside of this little vent? Like, I wouldn't have. I'd have come over here and been like, yeah, it's a shopping center. Big whoop. I would not have guessed to put two ladders over here. But, again, the devs are kind of hooking me up with some in-game secrets so I can kind of bring them to you guys and, and kind of all that stuff. But, anyway, two ladders right there. Again, I'm looking at the pink house. So, this is kind of where, so you guys can kind of get your bearings so you can kind of get where I am so you guys can follow along. You're going to drop down in this vent. And you're going to snag this red key card right here. Sk -doink. Floor one key card. Quack, quack. Let's go. Let's go. Gooch gang. All right. We're going to go ahead and go. Um, going to go ahead and go back up. We got floor one. Got floor one right there. Um, now, if you guys remember the gold vault, if you saw the gold vault video, it was a floor zero key card. So I think my theory is um, the developers are going to keep adding in more vaults to kind of find and, uh, and kind of, you know, those little kind of like hints and whatnot. Um, and it's going to keep going up in floors. I think it's kind of interesting how they have the loot all technically in the same building right now. I don't think it's going to stay like that. I feel like they're going to end up changing it up around the map because um, right now it's a little bit... Um, I don't want to say easy because it's 100% not easy. This is way... If I didn't know the way to do this, if the devs didn't tell me the way to do this, I would have had no idea. And even though I know how to do it, it's still not as easy as the gold vault. The gold vault was easy. It was like, grab the key card. Really easy to get the key card. You didn't need ladders. You literally just, like, grabbed it. You grabbed the key card, and then you did a little parkour, and bam, you're good. Like, it's literally the easiest thing in the world. This one's a little bit more challenging. And again, if you, if you don't watch this video and you're kind of trying to figure it out on your own... It's extremely hard. All right, it's extremely hard. But anyway, so you come down that hill, you go past the pink house, and you want to go over to the construction. So like I said, it's in the same exact building, dudes. Literally in the same building as the gold vault. The gold vault was on floor zero. This one is going to be on floor one. So I'm going to kind of show you guys. And we'll probably see people hitting floor zero right now. That's how kind of saturated the gold vault. Yeah, like literally this guy's already hitting it right now. This guy's hitting the gold vault right now. Like if you see a car parked right here, it's probably because he's inside of there and he's hit, because that's where the gold vault is. This key card won't work on that door, but this guy's probably hitting the gold vault, which is why I'm showing you guys the diamond vault, because like I literally have not seen anyone hit this yet. But anyway, it's in the same location of the construction site. Yeah, I feel like there's going to be a floor two, and then maybe as the game progresses, it'll keep going up and up and up and up and up. But anyway, here's floor one. So it's like a little bank area, what it looks like, bank tellers, whatnot. And you're going to grab your key card, and you're going to make it in through here, and skadoink, all right? And that's where you use your key card. And then basically, what you can do is you can run past this little, you, you go in the middle of these kind of little server racks right here. But before you do that, guys, this is kind of where it gets a little bit tough, right? So I'm going to go ahead and, um, I, I got it kind of pulled up on the side here when I'm looking at my, um, when I'm looking at my side monitor. But basically, there's these kind of puzzles throughout this one. It's kind of a pain. I'm not going to lie, it's kind of a pain in the butt, um, and uh, and I kind of got it figured out and whatnot, and and uh, and you guys will have no problem with it. But when I was first doing this, it was literally the most miserable thing in the absolute freaking world. But anyway, so there's these little key, there's these little kind of like puzzles right here, these little digit kind of puzzles. So yeah, you can run through, you can run through this server rack, you can do the little kind of parkour, and you can make it all the way, almost all the way to the vault. Um, but uh, but but before the vault won't open unless you kind of do these little these little keypads. So essentially, the goal of these is to get them all to be black. So right now, if I click this. You know, it turns it, you know, it turns some of them black. You want them all to be black, right? You want all of them to be black, and they're so random and such a pain, and they have, you have no guidance on how to get them. So do exactly what I do, and you guys will have no problem, but it literally takes forever if you don't see someone else do it. So, anyway, this puzzle, guys, really, this one, it's really simple. Bam, corner, corner, middle, corner, and corner. Literally, that's it. Now that one is done. When they're all black like that, that means you, you got it and you're done. You're good to go. And then you can kind of run through this vault. And then you basically just do some hardcore parkour right here. Real simple, real easy. And then you come to this guy. Same exact thing. Although I will say, they end up changing, all right? So these, these little, after that one, they change. That was the only two that was the exact same, all right? Um, and again, this one's, this is why this one's so hard. Because if you guys didn't watch this video, if you weren't watching how I was kind of entering in those little kind of like little codes... You'd literally be sitting here going, okay, um, click, 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 click. You're clicking all over the place, and you're like, you don't know how it works, and you're like, I'm so confused. Why are they? Because it, it's so random, guys. Like, I'll show you on the next one. It's the most random. You click something, and a, a, a set of random boxes turn black. It's a pain. All right, so make sure you guys kind of follow everything that I'm doing. We're going in par hardcore parkour this. So the last kind of gold vault really only had parkour, and then they had the little levers to turn. So that's why that one was a lot easier. This one's a little bit harder, all right? So once you guys kind of get past that area, you're going to get into this little maze. It, it's kind of a maze. It's not really. It's really simple. But if you guys are, if you guys get lost, what I recommend is sticking to the left-hand side. So keep your left hand, left hand, left for Lucy. Keep your left hand, or L for L for L's, you know, dropping L's. Uh, put, it, put your left hand on the wall and literally just follow the wall. That's how you always, that's a, a maze you can never fail a maze if that's what you do. If you always keep your left hand on the left hand wall, you'll eventually make it through an entire maze. It just might take you longer. But anyway, puzzle three, 
I'll show you guys on this one. If I were to just click a bunch of random buttons, I would never know how to kind of like, I would never know how to, to do this. I'd be like, why? They're all lighting up randomly. So you got to kind of do the, the code, right? So when it's all white like this, like you guys just saw, um, it's pretty simple. This one's bam, 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 bam. And the last one right in the middle, skadoink. And you're done. And that one's done, right? Now there's one more. Also, you'll see these red uh, buttons. They all got to be green. All you got to do is just click them. Just click them. They'll all be green. And that's what's going to kind of open this door right here. This door will open when they're all green, okay? So I'm going to keep my left hand on the left hand wall right now. I'm going to hit that guy green. I'm going to keep it, keep going to the left. I know we need to go that way, but I'm staying to the left right now. Hit that button. Stay in the left, stay in the left. All right, so I pretty much got everything right now. I could go to the left and literally go all the way back around. But I know that um, all that's kind of clear. And this thing is still closed, which means there's one more um, kind of button I need to press, which is this one right here. You just got to got to climb up this guy, climb on down, and hit the button. And now we're all green. Green means go, baby. I'm pretty sure this thing's going to be open. If not, it's going to be real awkward. I'm about to delete my YouTube channel. Bam, it's open. Okay, so now the last thing. Here's the vault right here, right? Here's our vault. Looks the exact same. Oh, man, someone else. We, are, we don't even have any money. Everyone's trying to steal our money. We ain't got any money. Uh, but this is the last thing you got to do. So this is the vault, and it looks the exact same as the gold vault. So you might come to this and be like, Midget, I've already seen this vault. Yeah, the vaults all look the same. The one downstairs with the gold in it, the vault looks the exact same. But this one, um, it, it'll be different. I'll show you when I get inside. But basically, this is your last keypad. So if you guys can see, we got three green bars right there. That's because we did three of those keypads, and three of them are kind of good to go and unlocked. And that red one's the fourth one we're about to do right now. All right, and this one's really easy as well. It's just one, 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 one. Bam, you do a little do a little S. S for Sean, you know what I'm saying? Right there, vaults open. Let's go. Cash money, Mula. Here's the diamonds. They don't really shine. They don't shine bright, shine bright like a diamond. But they're worth 200, all right? So, remember at the beginning of this video, I said, if you guys kind of hang out, watch the video, you'll kind of, uh, you'll, you'll, you know, there's a little, little contest to get it, to get our, your comment pinned. Well, here's what I'm going to do. For those of you who have seen my gold, how to get into the gold vault video, and if you haven't seen it, check the description, click that bad boy, or check the end screen at the end of this video, you'll be able to click it as well. Um, Go watch that video if you haven't already. I want to know. Someone comment down below. Diamonds are worth 200, right? Because you can see right here they're worth 200. Diamonds. Oh man, where's that coming from? I hear I hear gunshots right now. It's you gotta you gotta type in diamonds worth 200, and that one's bug. You can actually get two diamonds out of this one. I don't know why, but I ain't complaining. I ain't complaining. Um, but uh, but you guys you, know, you guys can put um. All right, that just closed. That's really interesting. I'm really confused why that closed. I'm really scared actually why that closed. I'm going to go ahead and seal this as quick as I can. But anyway, for the comment, write diamond $200 and then, and then below that, tell me how much the gold's worth, all right? So I want everyone to kind of know which how much gold is worth, how much diamonds worth. Maybe they're worth the same, maybe they're not. Comment down below, whoever gets it right. I'm going to go ahead and, and first one I see to get it right. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pin your comment, all right, so everyone else can see uh, as they're watching this video so they know which one or how much each is worth, and uh, and maybe which one is worth it for them to kind of go steal. Because, again, it's not always worth it to go for diamonds if your backpack can't hold that much. So my backpack's, like, pretty much full right now. Um, but I did steal some stuff beforehand. But if your backpack can't handle, you know, the, the, the two grand, you get two grand from the diamonds. So if, you're, if your backpack can't handle two grand, maybe it's worth it to go for the gold, or maybe they're worth the same. Who knows? Comment down below. Figure it out, guys. Um, and comment again. Go watch my uh, go watch my gold vault video if you haven't seen that already, because that'll kind of that'll kind of tell you how much the gold is worth. But all right, we're gonna be going. Um, I forget where we're at. Oh, we're lumberyard. We're lumberyard. I think it's this way. Uh, we literally lost so much money, so that's really annoying. I mean, actually, not that much. Oh, we, we did lose a lot. We lost like nine. I'm, I'm not even joking. We lost like ninety five grand. Is that us back there? We lost like ninety five grand, which is a lot. But um, but we also no, that is not us. At least I don't think that's us. No, I think we're in the lumber yard right now. I think we're this way. Uh, but yeah, we lost like 96 grand, so that is a lot. But just now we only lost like 600. So ain't even phase, man. Ain't even phase. I think I don't. I've never really been to the lumber yard, so I really don't know where it's at. I'm be. I'm be honest with you guys. I'm be honest with you. I really don't know where the lumber yard's at. I think it's this way. Um, but I usually stay in like the carport or the car the car garage, or I usually stay in um in the little kind of like construction-y ish one. Uh, where the poop noggins the lumber? Is it that way? I don't really remember doing a whole lot off-road, and I feel like I was, like, right next to the shop. So I feel like I should just go find the pink house, and that's where it is. Maybe it was that, that thing all the way in the corner, and I was like, nah, that can't be us. Wait, is that us up there? Nope, that's where I usually stay, I feel like. I, these places, this map, honestly, I'm not familiar with it yet, so I still don't know. Oh, maybe that's us over there. They all kind of look the same, unless you get, like, really close to them, which is kind of annoying. It's kind of hard to distinguish which one's which. Oh, this is us over here. This one's definitely lumber, so this one's got to be us. And I left the garage wide open, so it's probably me. <laughs> probably me. Yeah, this is 100% me. All right, we're going to 
We're going to cash this in right now. Yep, deposit. We're going to go ahead and we're going to repair all of our doors right now. Freaking people are coming in like nobody's business right now. We're going to fix doors. Oh, only 50 bucks. That was it? That was it, man? All right, all right. That's closed. Everything's closed now. All right, let's do a little bit of upgrades. We'll go. Let's do, do some quick upgrades. We got, how much you got? We got two grand in the bank. Okay. Two grand in the bank. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just upgrade some um, inside. Those ones are pretty I'm going to do vent. I'm going to do vent and I'm going to go ahead and do garage. And that should be that should be pretty good. We got 310 in the cash now. Now our, our, our garage should be pretty, yeah, it's pretty pimped out. Pretty pimped out. But all right, guys, thanks for coming call video today. I hope you guys did learn something new. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys are going to be making the cash money moolah. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys are thinking. Smash the like on the video if this helped you. And until next time, guys, if you haven't already, make sure you be fly and subscribe. Okay. okay, yeah, I'm a fly, yeah Bitch, you creepin' hit it, spit a killin' with the brothers Fillin' up the villain, chillin' bout to make a killin' Fillin' always better, better stack it to the ceiling yeah. Haters over there, we're not aware of ya Rockin' with my boy Shawnee, a character Rep the red, white, and blue, America yeah.